so um, now here is another question on binomial expansion on uh, like where you have two brackets involved. So first question is, um, they say that uh, find the first three terms in descending power of X of the expansion. So let's say when you talk about the descending power, so like descending power generally starts with the highest power of like X, so let's say X to the power something like six, then X to the power five and so on. So that's your descending power. Ascending power is like one constant term, like something, then X square term, then X cube and so on. Now, lots of times what happens is that when the moment say the descending word, the students start thinking that you have to start from backwards, but actually try to just do it like how you normally do it. I'm just gonna write down first few terms in order to get an idea. So I'm just gonna take this bracket first, X plus two over X square to the power six. And, and I'm just gonna take first few terms, like let's say T zero on T one and T two. So I'm just gonna take this, uh, sorry, T one, uh, T2 and T3. So when you uh, do this question here, so for T1, you're gonna plug R is zero. So it'll be six C zero, uh, X to the power uh, six um, minus zero times two by X square to the power zero. And six C zero is one times X to the power six. So that's my, and this is one. So my first term is actually X to the power six. The next up is uh, T2. For this, I'm gonna plug it, uh, R as one. So six C one x to the power uh, uh, six minus one times two over x square to the power one. So when you simplify this, six c one is six and x to the power five times two over x square. So this is gonna become 12 x to the power three. So you can normally see that this is, this is what is happening. So you can automatically see your, your answer overcoming x to the power six, 12 x cubed and so on. So it automatically is, is uh, going as a descending power. Now taking the T3, so plug uh, R as two here. So if I put six C2, um, it's gonna be X to the power six minus two, two over X squared to the power two. So this six C2 uh, times X to the power four and times four over X to the power four. So this is gone. And now six C2 is, um, uh, if you find out it is 15 once, uh, so, um, if you just want to quickly do factorial notation, six factorial over uh, four factorial times two factorial. And this can be simplified as six times five times four factorial over four factorial times two. So this is gone. So six by 30 over two, which is 15. So 15 times four, which is 60. So here are the, the first three terms when you write down, they're like X to the power six plus 12 X cubed and plus 60. So you can automatically see that's happening, okay? So that's already going into descending power. So, so are we got this expansion now. Our next part is to find the term independent of X in this expansion, which is, uh, so here we have like two minus four by X cube. And uh, the second is uh, X to the power six plus 12 X cube plus 60. Now when you say term independent of X, basically it means that you have to find out the constant term, which is like, which does not contain X. So I get my combination. I got to choose my combinations right here. So I get a constant term and I multiply two with 60. So that's your 120. And I get a constant term when I multiply uh, this term with here. So plus uh, I multiply minus four by X cube with uh, uh, 12 X cube. So that cancels out and this you get is negative uh, 48. So negative 48 and 120. If you add these two, so 120 and negative 48. So whatever this answer is, that's your uh, term independent of X. So, so this is how you basically do these kind of questions where you have two brackets right on first few terms. Look at the right combinations. You could, uh, in case if you're confused with this, you could do the entire bracket expansion. So you could do like two times entire bracket, then this into entire bracket, and, and then pick up the constant term from there. So, so uh, that's how you basically do the, the, the constant term expansion questions uh, and the ascending and descending power questions in, in the same fragment. So this is um, it on the binomial expansion, and there'll be some pra more practice questions later on.